So most of you are wondering, what is this clunker and why is he doing a video on it? Some of you, those particularly versed in old school Toyotas, are actually looking at it and going, oh, that's an old school Celica. And this particular generation Celica is what birthed the first generation Toyota Celica Supra. So the Make One Supra was actually this very same car with an inline six. Now the more keen eyed among you will realize that these cars weren't available as target tops, but mine is. Those who are into even more obscure automotive details will be familiar with the fact that this is a Toyota Celica TX22. Now the TX22 was one of three different Celica conversions created by the Griffith company. So what Griffith did is that they took cars like this Celica and they converted them into target tops. Now there was a version called the Sun Chaser based on the Celica Coupe which didn't have the fastback. That one had a Targa and then the area behind the Targa bar actually had a standard folding convertible hardtop. There was one called the Legato, which was based on the Celica Supra. And then there's the TX22 Sport, which is this car. This car is based on the standard Celica and is just a target top conversion on a fastback. Now, what's interesting is that of all of the Griffith conversions, the TX22 was by far the rarest. It's believed that this car is one of 50 TX22s ever built. If anyone is more familiar with these than I am, Feel free to correct that in the comments. But as far as I've been able to verify, this car is one of 50. I've recently joined an exclusive sort of uh, Facebook group for owners of these cars, and I'm getting more versed with them as I go along. So if any of this information is incorrect, I will be correcting it in future videos. My uh, friend actually bought this from his father-in-law. His father-in-law got it years ago. It had been sitting inside a body shop where it was catching overspray. He got it with good sheet metal on it, took it home, intending to maybe do something with it, never got around to it, and because it was parked on grass, or dirt really, it rusted away. At some point, he tried to sell it. He could never find a buyer at the price point that he was looking for. He knew it was a rare car. He's also sort of a hoarder and is probably not very keen on letting things go. Um, so basically it never sold until finally, he decided to sell it to my friend for 500 bucks. My friend and his brother bought it specifically to take the drivetrain out of it and put it into a 75 Corolla wagon that they're currently building. So as of right now, this car is literally nothing but a shell. There is no motor, there is no drivetrain, but that's not an issue. So my goal for this car is a bit of a hybrid. I plan to restore the sheet metal and get it to look as close to original as possible. Interior wise, because my friend did take the dash and the seats weren't in very good shape, I plan to do my own custom interior unless I can find the original Celica pieces at a reasonable price. But in the meantime, I will use this to test some theories I have about building fiberglass and carbon fiber dashboards and things of that nature. And also, while I could very well wait for them to either not finish their project and sell me the components or go somewhere else and source the components, I'm sort of not keen on putting back the 22RE engine. It's a good engine, but it's hardly anything to write home about. And by the time I spent money and put Webers and all this other stuff on it, it will probably still be an incredibly slow and not fun to drive thing. So can anyone say LS WAP? Okay, I will definitely remake this in carbon fiber. Kind of like a really janky old school version of the Fast and Furious Supra. Orange target top. There you go. This is shockingly in good shape. This door has not been repainted, at least not on the inside. All these bolts are all in good shape. Man, this car was in great shape before this guy parked it on dirt for years and let the panels rot out. If he hadn't done that, this car would probably be brand new, man. What a shame. Oh well, at least I know I'm working with clean metal here. That's important. 
to the other door panel and move on. Dogs love this crappy old car. <laughs> oh hell, I love it too. What can I say? Let's figure out these back seats. How the heck do these come out? I'll be so pissed if I gotta open the rear hatch and do it because the key's stuck in the ignition.